I'm Zoe Sheridan and I'm in Adelaide at the National Wine Centre, just my luck. And on the couch I have with me a famous Australian, Katrina Webb, who is, became famous really for winning gold at the Paralympics in 1996. That's right, yes. It's, uh, You're many, a sprinter? It's a few years back now, 96, it's making me feel old. But, uh, oh no. I am a sprinter. I started off as a netballer and that's probably the interesting part about my story is I was a, a good South Australian netballer, made it to national level, made it to the AIS in Canberra in 1995 on a netball scholarship. Wow. Always knew I had a weakness on my right side, but it was never diagnosed as cerebral palsy, which while I was at the netball scholarship at the AIS, my physio diagnosed that I had a very mild case of cerebral palsy. So that's when my life sort of changed for mm. me. I became aware that I could compete in the Paralympic Games and the coaches of athletes with a disability were really excited because they thought, wow, if this girl's got this far with able-bodied sport, let's get her to Paralympic sport. One of the things that really frightened me about becoming a Paralympian, because for 18 years of my life, I knew I had something wrong, but it was easier for me were to hide. Were you born with it? Yes, yeah, so everyone's born with cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, you can't see anything wrong with me and I can walk around and people can't pick it up unless I'm tired, I might limp mm. a little bit. And so to become a Paralympian was really frightening for me because people would know that there was something wrong. Standing on the dais in Athens, winning the gold and I, in the 400 metres was just such a wonderful feeling. And you train for four, eight years and it's, you know, it's your goal and the whole world is watching you. You put yourself on the line mm. and all the team that's helped you and then you finally achieve it. And it's like nothing could matter in the whole world. You know, the whole world stops and it's, it's an incredible feeling. And now the next achievement is baby number two. Mm. But are we allowed to say the sex? little boy, another boy I'm good at producing boys, which is okay because I, you know, I know what to do. I've had one, I know what to do with it, but I'm sort of thinking, oh, I'm going to go back to the newborn, you know, part again, breastfeeding, yeah. uh, which is great, but oh, it's going to be a juggling act. It is, it is quite exhausting, the first part, but I remember one thing that I was thinking, which is having one child, your first child, and you love them so much you kind of think, do I have enough love for yeah. this second child? Am I going to love them as much? Does, That's right. Is that a weird thing to think? Or? Yeah, and I think and I think one of the reasons why I've enjoyed the pregnancy but I haven't thought too much about it is because I'm trying to enjoy every moment with Sebastian, our first son. But I went through that before I had Sebastian with my husband. I remember one night in bed and oh, a few tears going, it's not going to be us anymore, you know, and how's it going to change oh. us? And so, and the other night I was in bed thinking, Oh, it's the three of us, it's going to change again. Um, but from experience, everyone just says, you just have this abundance of love and mm. I can't wait to see what the next one, you know, what they're like. And, and my little boy's ready for a brother and he's, you know, he's got a baby too and his baby kicks and his baby's called Fred. So, <sighs> you know, we've <laughs> gone through this experience together, which is, which I think is going to create a better family unit. And as, as What's the main philosophy that you'd like to impart on them? Well, I think Ed and I, our uniqueness with what we do is that we, are, we like to achieve our best and we learned that through sport and often it's difficult for kids nowadays to, to be the best that they can be and work hard and, and so if we can teach them you know, to, to be the best that they can be and also make sure they keep you know, the universe and other people in mind at the mm. same time, then I think, give them that knowledge, then I'll feel like we've achieved You're like Supermom. I love it. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. Thank you Thanks, so much, pleasure. Katrina. Have my an absolutely pleasure. beautiful day and all the best with the birth. Thank you. You can go from silver to gold. Push it out. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly. I did with the first, so uh, I'm riding up for number two. Natural yeah. delivery if I can. Well, I'm sure you will. And it doesn't matter. You'll have a beautiful, healthy baby. And thank you That's so right. much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.